Hey, here's back again today and have a distribution for you, a new one today, it's called Simplicity Linux Desktop 13.1, welcome back Dan Ting, yes, Simplicity Linux Desktop 13.1, released a couple of days ago, it's out there in the world. Now you're saying to me, hmm, Simplicity Linux, I ain't seen that for a while, Simplicity Linux, yeah, no, I haven't seen it, well, that's because he's been doing stuff, okay, but this is the new version, just released it, there's also a netbook version as well, only two versions at the moment, yes indeed, okay, where should we start? Based on Carolina 004, which in turn is based on Weary Racy, which in turn is a puppy Linux distribution. Okay, I thought we'd get that bit out of the way first. Secondly, comes XFCE as your desktop environment, and also CairoDoc for your CairoDoc things. Let's do zoom, 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 zoom. Right, downloads 500 of megs, and you're saying, well, it's a lot for a pup. Well, it is, but I'll show you why in a moment, okay? So we're going to check out CairoDoc first. Applications menu, show your desktop. The Fox, Skype, Skype, -y. Pigeon, Pigeon, Twit, to Woo, the full LibreOffice suite. Now you see where 300 megs of it have come from before you even start, okay? Gimpage, Terminal, Gimpage, Terminal, Gimpage, okay? Chunderbird, you get a weather application. Now it says Limington, United Kingdom, but that's not where I live. It's about, ooh, need two hours drive. So, hour and a half, two hours drive, something like from me. So, he's not too far away. Quite a few Linux distro developers in this area, by the way, just in case you didn't know. We also get TrueCrypt, lovely, do like a bit of TrueCrypt, you know, you know what, I like a bit of TrueCrypt, I really do, I'm going to open it, because I like it. TrueCrypt is ideal for encrypting all your stuff, even your whole drives. If you really want to keep your stuff safe, encrypt it yourself, but don't forget the password or pass key, okay? Okay, we've got that bit out of the way. You also get clipboard history, a power manager, your audio mixer, time and date, and your shutdown menu. But that's the basics out of the way, okay? As you can see, it's a nice, nice clean desktop. Boots reasonably fast, yeah, reasonably fast. So I'm quite happy with that, super duper. Net comes up straight away. If you've got wireless, you can get it with Frisbee up here. Okay, there's also another time and date calendar there, an alarm, 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 alarm. And you can check out the performance of your thing. So you can make it turbo performance or power save. So basically, if you've got an old lapper, you'd be able to put it on, you put it on power save, wouldn't you? Because you want to save your battery. I'm going to change it to the turbo. <laughs> Put some go faster stripes on the side as well. Okay, enough of the jesting. Okay, let's have a look at the applications. Uh, under file system, we have bulk rename, part view, through now for your file manager, and of course, I've just shown you TrueCrypt. Under graphics, you get Gimpage, yes, a photo application, G Color 2, the pup camera, digital camera access, screenshot tool, MT paint stuff, yeah, right. Under internet, you get Fire FTP for your FTP client, the Fox I said before. You also get the Google Desktop stuff, okay? So you can run Gmail, Google Calendar, Google Docs, Google Maps, Google blah, 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 blah. All as one standalone application. So if you're a big Google fan, you're going to like that on distribution. Also, as I said, there's Pigeon and Skype here and Transmission, okay? Under Multimedia, now he loves me, really. You can tell this. Not only have we got a Sunder, yeah, Sunder. And you're saying, what's a Sunder? What's a rip in your stuff, man? One of the best in the world out there, and it's not very big at all. Lovely. He's also put for me, just for me, Clementine as the music player. Yes. You know, I've been banging on about it for a while, never. Now, I've opened it up here, so I'll just click there. Clementine is here. I've not actually ripped any tracks in there, though. I'm just not around to do it. I'm really, really busy doing distros and videos at the moment. Because I was a bit lax, and I've been Bob and Dick as well. You know, so you close it from there, but then you have to remove it from the bar as well. Don't forget that. Don't think you just lost it. You know, it's hiding in the bar. Yeah. What else in multimedia? You get GNAC for audio converting. Now, I've installed a Minitube. And you're saying, why didn't you install Minitube, Nicky? Quite easily. You don't always want to watch uh, YouTube all the time in the full thing. Now, I've got it at 1080p because I like higher stuff, right? Yeah. So if I put me in. Am I going to come up? No, so I put it here and there, here, here, and there I am. Okay, so we're going to play this one here. Let me double click. In theory, we should start playing any moment now. There we go. Lovely in 1080p. Not too bad, is it really? Because I'm recording at the same time. Nice big one. Make it small again. And it is 1080p, by the way. If I change that, it'd be a lot quicker. But as you can see, it runs nice just for watching your YouTube videos, so you don't have to open the browser if you don't want to. So, see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay. What else we got up here? My media, yeah. What else? Yeah. Thujin for ripping your DVDs. Of course, only do it if it's right in your area where you live. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. 
webcam capture program. You've also got a UM player for front end player, so front end basically. XF burn does what it says on the tin. Yeah, nicey nicey. Under network, usual pup stuff, and Raymine is in there as well. It always is nowadays, isn't it? Now, as you can see, if you go to office here, you won't find the LibreOffice stuff here. But it's just on the bar down the bottom, so don't worry about it too much. I've actually installed it Abbey Word. Whoa, see how quick that was? That's what you call quick, and that's why we use Abbey Word. This is the 286 version, I think it should be. Yeah, 286, because it's the most stable. The current one is still not stable enough for me. I hope they're going to fix it soon, because it's getting on me, you know, getting on my nerves. Sort of. And the system, Flash is already here. Yes, yeah, so I can do your preferences in there. Cups for your printing. Custom build your Carolina CD, because it's based on Carolina. He could have took that out, but he didn't. Okay. G parted, grub for DOS, stuff like that. Hard info where Lighthouse System Info and LX Task Manager. Let's check out what it's doing. Okay. Now, as you can see, it's only using 72 megabytes of my RAM, and my CPU is having a little nap. It's going. It's in a sleep button. Yeah, pretty good, I thought. Yeah. Did you? I thought it was pretty good. Let's go down here, yes. Mm, can re if you're only doing a save file, this is a full install by the way, you can resize it to make yourself a bigger save file. Right, let's go to the Puppy Universal Installer. No, we're going to go to the Puppy Package Manager. A bit different from other pups, which just looks different because it's based on you know, Weary Racing. It just looks different. Now, it's got its own repos as well as you can use a Weary 5 repos. So let's, for instance, if we go to Internet, what we got there that we might want to install. And I'll show you how easy it is. Let's find something. Mm, Midori. Should you go for Midori? Mm, you could do what you go for. We'll go for Midori. Basically, you click on it. It thinks about it. Do you want to install it? Of course I do. Click on install Midori. And basically, all it does goes like that. You know, download package. And in theory, it should start downloading like so. We'll show you the top. Now, the long bit is waiting for it to install. So while I'm doing that, and I click OK, and it installs. I put a little minty in there. Mmm, minty, lovely. Mm -hmm. And basically, we just wait for the update page to come back. And after that's all done, we'll be all installed and ready to use Midori. Yes, we will. And that is the, the long bit. I have had problems with the Puppy Package Manager for, for a little while. It did get really, 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 really slow, which was a bit of a pain. Like now, in theory, that's installed. Oh, it's just checking for missing and shared library files and stuff like that. Bum, 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 and we're done. And that's basically what we do. Now, there's plenty in here for you to install for extra stuff, okay? Including handbrakes up here. Double F Convert and Double F MPEG is also here. Audacious. Bacon is in there. Mmm, is it streaky or back? Mm -mm -mm. And lots of other stuff like SM Tube, SM Players here, VLCs here as well. Xvid Cap, if you really want to use it, it's entirely up to you. Not my cup of tea anymore. I don't eat that. I have used it in the past, as a lot of you will know, years ago. But it's just not up to the job anymore, unfortunately. But it will do the job if you just want to do it now and again. Okay? So that's that out of the way. Plenty in there for you to play with. So in theory, if I go down here and do the internet, we will find Midori. Let's open up Midori. Yes. Midori can be somewhat unstable. I know it can. Yeah, I've been telling you that for ages. Yeah, ages and ages and ages. Unstable a lot of the time. So what we're going to do, we're going to chuck in Google here. And, go, and it goes, oh, she's using DuckDuckGo. Still. Okay, still is. That'll do. We'll go to that one. Not rather nice. Hasn't crashed for a bleeding change. Nice. So that's how you install stuff and stuff like that. Okay, what else can I show you and get you using? Okay, if we go down to system again, been down there, we utilities. Calculator is here, stopwatch is here, a new pet for making your pets. A pet is a pet file that we use in Puppy Links, by the way, so you make programs, all right? I'll just show you how to do that one day, won't I? Yeah. I've done one a while ago, not for a while. There's an alarm clock and timer, and Pup Save Config personal storage setup and stuff like that. You can also run program from here, find, and there is the control panel. So I'll quickly open the control panel, and here we are. Nice and clean, super fast, does what it says on the tin, okay? Let it do all your stuff in here, whatever you want to do, really. Right, what can I say? Simplicity Linux 13.1 Desktop Edition is very, 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 very good. Gets better every time. What more can I say? 91%. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.